Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because in this video, I'm actually showing you how to create a light fixture that it's totally renters friendly right there, totally renters friendly, and there's no electrical required. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Hey guys, welcome back! Like I said, I'm super excited about this video because I'm showing you how to create a light fixture, you see it right here, that is totally renters friendly, no electrical required, and is super affordable. It cost me probably less than $10 to make it because I already had some of the supplies, I only bought some things at Joann's that were on sale and I had a 60% off coupon so I only ended up paying like $150 for some of the stuff which is the yarn and stuff that I used. So it was pretty cool, less than $10 to make it, totally renters friendly and you don't need any electrical like I said because I didn't want to mess with electrical, I don't want to do it and I thought it was I wanted to change it and you know we've all been cursed like if you're a renter like I am we've all been cursed with like the booby lights that come in these apartments like this is the booby light I call them booby lights because they do look like a little boob nothing against boobs just booby lights but without further ado let's just get into this DIY because I cannot sh wait to show you guys how I did it and here are some inspiration photos from Pinterest for this project, I'm using some yarn, some cardboard, two little hooks, ceiling hooks. I'm using my glue gun, scissors, and a ruler. My first step is I'm going to start cutting these and just create separate squares because I'm going to be creating a 5-inch ribbon with cardboard. I'm left with some single cardboard strips and using my ruler, I'm going to start measuring 5 inches and create a ribbon. With my ruler, I'm going to measure five inches from a straight line at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure five inches. And now I have six pieces of cardboard that I'm going to join together using my masking tape that I forgot to include in my supplies earlier and my glue gun just for a little extra support. Pull out my calculator and do some math. And I hope I remember this correctly, but it's been a while. And I think the result is about 53.4 inches. So about 54 inches that we need to go around. For my first year, I'm actually going to do 54 inches long. After you finish joining your bands, I'm just gonna go ahead and reinforce it with some masking tape so that way I know they'll stay in place. I finished the glue and taping off camera. This is what it looks like. I made sure I put a lot of tape on these joints so they will stay in place and not come apart. So this is what my band looks like and I'm going to repeat the process for the other two bands. And this is what my cardboard strips look like after I finish gluing them and putting the tape on them. So the way I'm measuring the distance in the ceiling is, so let's say that this is the lamp and then I'm measuring three inches all around it. And then I went with my measuring tape and I marked it on certain spots. And then what I did was I went with these little tiny nails, these little nails right here putting these on the ceiling at every spot. And what this is doing is just helping me keep the circle straight. Before I started working on this project, I googled the distance that I should have between the light bulbs and the cardboard. And also since I'm using yarn, amount of heat that needs to be applied to yarn in order for it to catch fire. So make sure you do your research. I decided it would be easier to just wrap these with yarn before I try to put them on the ceiling. I found it easier just to go ahead and lay the, the cardboard on the floor and then just move it around the yarn just because it makes it faster. And also just make sure you're stopping every once in a while on your wrong side. So I want the sides with the graphics to be on the inside and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue 
so it stays in place and your strands are not moving. And this is what the strips look like after I finish putting the yarn around them. I love the colors and I love the way they turned out. Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna be real right now. And it's very hard for me to put these bands up on the ceiling because I originally, like you saw, I was gonna use the nails to use them as a guide and then just wrap the band around it and then use my hooks and I would just hook it. It's not as easy as you think because I don't have, I can't stretch around the entire circumference with just two arms. So I can't hold it in one place while I'm trying to wrap it around. So it's very difficult. So I'm going to do something different, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap, uh, I'm going to grab the bands and I'm going to create a circle on a poster board and I'll show you guys what I'm doing, but I'm going to create a circle on the poster board and then glue the bands to the poster board and then cut them so that way they retain the shape and they're not like flimsy and moving around while I'm trying to put them up there. And once I do that, I can put them up there with the hooks. But we're gonna get through it because we're not gonna give up. I'm covering that light. <laughs> Here I'm measuring 18 inches, which is the diameter of the lamp. So the lamp is about 15 inches in diameter, but then I'm adding an extra three inches because of the circles. I don't have a compass, but I'm actually making my own with my pencil and some yarn. Let's pretend that this is our ceiling. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing it onto here, all around the circumference of the circle we just drew. So I got to the end where they overlap and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them together. I cut out the excess and now using some extra yarn, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this little section over here that's not covered. And now using my X-Acto knife and my cutting mat that I have underneath here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right on the outside as close as I possibly can on from the circle. I'm gonna leave this untouched because I'm gonna attach the other two pieces before I cut out the inner piece, but I'm gonna do the outer piece that way I have a little more room to maneuver it. Here's our circle, this is what it looks like. Okay guys, so I just finished putting the second layer on here. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks amazing. However, you see this gap here? I measured wrong, oh my goodness. But nothing I cannot fix. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a little extra cardboard, wrap the yarn around it, and then just like glue it on there and just cover that hole. But measure twice, cut once, always, always, always. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue it the same way I did before and look at it like it blends in this is the back part this is going to be against the wall so you're not even going to see it but look it looks perfectly fine and this is what it looks like once i finish cutting the inside i'm actually using this little white hooks instead i took out the nails and i'm just putting the hooks around the lamp and i'm going to just go ahead and try to hook the actual lamp and here's what it looks like Well guys, I hope that you liked it and you found this video very helpful because like, like I said at the beginning, I hated that light that was up there and I just wanted to do something that was not, that didn't require any electrical and was renters friendly. So if you make anything like this, put it on Instagram using hashtag made with Yara, that is M-A-D-E with Y-A-R-O, made with Yara, that way I can like it, find it and like it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in those comments below if you think that this is a really good idea and if you think that it's, it takes care of the problem that I had. So let me know what you think about this. Thank you guys again. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Please take care of one another. Don't forget the journey is what brings us happiness, not the destination. Love you all. See you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.